That took place at the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas. Americans are so shell-shocked. We're paranoid. And I would go further to say that a lot of us are dealing with PTSD over the mass shootings that we experience here in the United States. And all of us are experiencing it. Whether you were unfortunate enough to be involved with one, or if you are like myself that watches all of the news that enlightens us on the unfolding events after a mass shooting takes place. We're all suffering from fear, shell shock, PTSD, and Congress does not give two shits about how these mass shootings are affecting society. This particular incident, like I said, took place at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. It was a complete stampede and it was all as a result of a false report of gunfire. This story is being reported by TMZ. It's a sign of the times. A glass door shattering was enough to turn the Vegas Strip into full-blown panic. Tourists heard loud sounds Saturday night on the Strip, which they mistook for gunfire and it created a domino effect sending hundreds of terrified folks running for their lives turns out it was just a glass door shattering but that was enough to send people scrambling the las vegas metropolitan police said quote there is no evidence of gunfire in the area and the event is under investigation end quote People ran out of the MGM Grand and New York and New York, New York. One person person suffering minor injuries after falling down as a result of the stampede. One person was detained, the one who broke the glass door. That individual was stopped on suspicion of destruction of property. It is unclear if there were any arrests. It's really a scary situation. You see cops descending on the area with guns drawn as they try to figure out if there is indeed an active shooter. Mass shootings are all too familiar, but especially in Las Vegas, where 58 people were slaughtered in 2017 during a music festival. It has the dark distinction of being the deadliest mass shooting in American history. There's another video that is within this article. Let's take a look at it. It's from a different angle. All I can say is, my fellow peeps, be safe out there. I know myself, I, I have limited me being in large crowds because of the sign of the times. Y'all let me know your thoughts. Put it down in the comments. That's where we continue the conversation. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for tuning in to The Conversation. Make sure you subscribe and rate the episode. And to stay connected with Tabitha, head on over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Tabitha. And you can also follow on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All the links will be available in the more info box. Until next time, be good to yourselves and each other. And each other.